So, for today's video, we will talk about the central dogma of molecular biology, stating that DNA makes RNA makes proteins. So, we will focus on the three main parts, which are the replication, transcription, and translation. So, for better understanding and to be more visible, we will focus on the illustrations. So, in DNA replication, it is simply the copying of DNA molecules to produce more DNA. So, in replication, there are five major steps. First, the helicase unwind the parental double helix. So, the single strand binding the protein stabilizes the DNA unwound parental DNA. Third, the leading strand is synthesized continuously in the 5 to 3 direction by the DNA polymerase. Next, the lagging strand is synthesized discontinuously, primary synthesis, a short RNA primer, which is extended by the DNA polymerase to form an Okazaki primer. So next, after the RNA primer is replaced by the DNA, DNA ligase joins the Okazaki fragment to the growing strand. So transcription describes the process by which the genetic information contained within DNA is rewritten into messenger RNA or the mRNA by the RNA polymerase. So this mRNA then exits nucleus where it provides the basis for the translation of DNA by controlling the production of mRNA in the nucleus and the cell regulates the rate of gene expression. So the process of transcription can be broadly categorized into three main stages. First, the initiation second elongation and the last termination so first initiation transcription is catalyzed by the enzyme rna polymerase so it attaches to and moves along to the dna molecule until it recognizes a promoter sequence so it indicates the starting point of transcription there may be multiple promoter sequence in a dna molecule so next is the elongation so one dna so, the template strand is read in 3 to 5 direction and so provide the template of the new mRNA molecule. The other DNA strand is referred to as the coding strand. So, this is because the base sequence of the new mRNA identical to it except for the replacement thiamine. So, this yellow is the uracil. So, termination is the last process which is the elongation will continue until the RNA polymerase encounters a stop sequence. So, this is the stop sequence. So, at this point, transcription stops and the RNA polymerase releases the DNA template. So, this will be releases. So, uh, this will go. So, translation is the process that takes the information passed from DNA as messenger RNA and turns it into a series of amino acids bound together with the peptide bonds. For translation, it is essentially a translation from one code from this nucleotide sequence into another code or the amino acid. So the ribosome is the site of this action just as RNA polymerase was the site of mRNA synthesis. So, the ribosome matches the base sequence of the mRNA in sets of three base, so this kind of base called codons, to the tRNA. So, this one will pair. So, the mo tRNA molecules that have the three complementary bases in their anticodon regions. So, this will be the anticodon and this will be the codon. So, again, the base pairing rule is important in this recognition. So, A binds to U and C binds to G. So, the ribosome moves along to the mRNA matching the three base pairs of a time and adding the amino acid. So, this, this one is the amino acids to the polypeptide chain. This is the polypeptide chain and the RMNA. So, this polypeptide will twist into its native conformation and begin to act as a protein in the cell's metabolism. So overall, the translation is the process that takes the information passed from DNA as a messenger RNA. 
So, this will turn into an amino acid bound together with peptide bonds.